power hitter, cleanup hitter, professional bat flipper, Edgar Michael. <laughs> Of all, of all those titles, I think my favorite is your name coming up every time the little kids have to say it, and they all just struggle through it. Yeah. And it's always the kid announcers when you're in. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Everybody struggles with my last name. Because I find them four-year-olds. I think the most important question today is, what's it like having a milkshake named after you? I think it's awesome. I mean, I've yet to try, but I have my family members to get it all the time, and also my friends get it, so they have a fun time with it. What was your reaction when you, you know, found out? Initially, it was supposed to name. It was. It was supposed to be my name. It was to be the Edgar Bat Flip Shake, but they had to take it down and because of compliance reasons. So it was now named the Bat Flip Shake. Edgar, this team is so different when you look at you know what you've lost. What, what, what do you expect going out there Friday night and, and just this season with so many changes and, and you know one through nine manufacturing runs, the, those kind of things. How different is it going to feel? I mean, every team every year has a different identity. So I mean, I'm I'm sure you know it's going to be a different dynamic with obviously Willie and Zach not being in the lineup, also um, you know other people that I like, drafted that are not in our team anymore. But I mean, every year is the same thing. We all we all have to find our our di um, identity and all that. So I mean, we're just working hard and you know see what happens. What kind of advice do you give those new players about their first time being here and starting to play for the kids? No, I just I just tell them to embrace it. You know, as you're playing in Miami. It's a big school, so just embrace it, have fun. Not really, don't really take it too hard on yourself if you fail or if you succeed. You know, just have fun with it. And you know, the most important thing I try to, you know, have the team gel together, and that, I think that's the most important thing for us to succeed. Edgar, uh, the World Series, College World Series, is always the goal, right? Of course. Um, how frustrating was it last year going? Yet such a great season, you know. Yeah. And then, it was a great season, so I mean, I didn't see it as a failure, but I mean, it didn't turn out to be the way we expected it to be, obviously. But I mean, you know, it happens, you know, not usually not the best team wins. You know, Florida went 0-2, we went 0-2, Coastal Carolina never went to the World Series, they won it last year, so that just comes to show you that, you know, not the best team wins always. It's only who's hot that time, so I mean, we're just... We're happy to be there, and you know, hopefully this year we could have a better run. What, what, what do you tell the younger, the newcomers, not younger kids, on what Omaha is like? What was that like for you, the experience? Um, I try not to talk about it because it's, it's hard to explain it. You have to experience it. If I try to explain what it's like, it's not gonna, it's not gonna satisfy what it's actually like. So. I think that you know we're just, we don't really concentrate too much on how it's like. We just try to work on every day, working hard and getting things done as a team, and working hard individually. You know, just working towards the next game. And you know, if we go to Omaha, don't know what it's like. A lot of transition this year. You guys looking forward to the challenge? Of course. I'm always open to the challenge, and as a team, we're embracing the challenge. And you know, a lot of rankings have us low in the rank and the in the rankings or whatever, but I mean, it's fine. I mean, we've been there before as a team and, you know, we're looking forward to uh, stepping up and having uh, big guys contribute to the team. What was the, re the reaction when you saw that? I mean, I literally, like, I was looking at Baseball America. They don't even have you guys ranked in the first one. And people commented, like, where are you guys hiding Miami? Where's Miami? Where's Miami? Because it's the expectation here. What did it mean, you know, did it, is there like a chip on the shoulder to, to prove yourselves or does it not even matter? I mean, there's some polls that have us at eight, some polls 25, 20, none, you know, we're not even ranked top 25. So, I mean, just, talk, I mean, we don't really look at it as like a big important thing to be ranked high in the beginning of the season. We just look forward to, you know, getting better as a team and usually the number one guy, the number one team doesn't really win Omaha every year. So, you know, Coastal Carolina wasn't ranked, and they won it. So, I mean, it, it is what it is, and, you know, you can't control what they rank you at, or you want to control your effort, and, you know, that's what we're look, focusing on in our team. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.